Hello traders worldwide, welcome back. This is MJ Crypto. I'm not gonna waste your time. I just want to quickly show you the overview of the market where we are right now and what the market is most likely gonna do any moment from now. All right. So um first things first one, two thousand three. Now, for those of you who do not know what total three is, total three is the crypto total market cap excluding BTC and Ethereum. Okay, excluding BTC and ETH. Now, this is a weekly time frame, and I'm usually always going to start my analysis from the weekly. So, what I want to do right now is to actually highlight my key level weekly time frame. For those of you who are my students, you should know by now that this is how I run my top down analysis. And I run it exclusively well, like so. Let me just quickly reload this page. I think it's actually lagging a little bit. Let's reload this. So total three. Total three. There we go. And um, I want to go back to the weekly and then erase all of these things right now so that you can see it clearly. All right? You see. Total three total market cap is including BTC and Ethereum, right? So the first things first is to plot my key levels, key levels on this time frame on the weekly, allowing it to touch as many what areas as possible. All right, align it to touch as many areas as possible. Now, having done that, um, having done that, the next thing I want to do right now is to actually go down to the four hours and then try to actually observe what exactly is going on. So I'm going to the four hours right now. Now, in the four hour time frame, we can see that we have a pattern formed here, and this is looking more like um it's looking like a dog, it's looking like a head and shoulders. Look at this, it's looking like a head and shoulders. This is the head right here, left shoulder, right shoulder. And ultimately, when price breaks through and falls back into this range, that automatically means that altcoins will start dipping massively they'll start falling so at this point from the road you already know okay we need to be looking for shots i always tell people trade alongside um trade alongside the market overflow all right the market overflow the market overflow is telling you that oh price is about to go bearish then you really do not have to be looking for really do not have to be looking for, for buy opportunities. All right, you don't need to look for buy opportunities at all. All you have to do is look for sales. You just have to look for sales. All right, you have to look for sales if, you look, if the market is bearish. Now, this is for total three. Let's look at total two now. Let's look at total two. This is excluding only BTC, but including Ethereum. Okay, let me just cancel everything here. Show you guys what exactly is going on. Let's start from the weekly. I'll start from the monthly, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter as such. Still showing the same thing. Do you get it? It's still showing us same thing now to make this even better you can change this to your line chart and you know if, just in case you are not so good with drawing your support and resistance you can change this to the line chart or just take this immediate price action you don't need to start from far please because you're on the weekly time frame so it means um it's actually a very strong resistance already as long as you're on the weekly so you don't need to look too far. Just take this immediate price action. All right. So you want to look for another key area somewhere around here. Look 
fuck you, some here, yeah. Then we can put this back again to candles. You can see how accurate we've been able to draw um, our key levels, right? We've been able to draw our key levels very, very accurately. So we can just, you know, push this down a little. Push it down a little. And then what do we do next? It's very easy. We'll come back to the four hours again. Come back to the four hours again. What are we seeing? Are we seeing the head and shoulders? Exactly. We are still seeing the head and shoulders. So this is actually a fake out. This is actually a fake out. This is a fake out or a false breakout. Whenever you see a reversal pattern occurring just immediately after a breakout, it is a false breakout. What we call a fake out or a fake key. So, Invariably, we can now say that, okay, we're anticipating that price wants to what, fall back down. But we're not going to start taking entries. We're not going to start taking entries. We want to be sure. We want to actually trade to professionals. So when we see that price begins to break this low, price begins to fall down and take out this low, then it is a very, it's a very good time to start shutting out. But this is just a directional bias showing you what exactly what exactly is going on. So we've done, we're done with total two. Let's go ahead now to check what um what's it called now? BTC dominance is saying. Let's check what BTC dominance is saying. Okay, I already did some analysis on all of this stuff before. So I just want to actually, you know, show you everything again from the jump, right? So on the weekly, on the weekly time frame, weekly time frame right here, can you see what's going on? <laughs> Altcoins are gonna dump anytime soon, so be very careful. Be very, very, very odd, careful. Let me just plot my key levels right here for this immediate price action. I'm gonna start this from somewhere around here. I'm going to start this from here. Okay, that's the key level right there. It's one key level. I'm just um, drag this up a little bit. That's one key level. And guess what? Price came here again. And we did something like, um, we did have, Let's check if this is an ascending triangle. So we know exactly what we're doing. Good, it's an, it's an ascending triangle. Okay. Ascending triangle. Um, so we did have a push like so. Had a push like this. And we had something like this, obviously. So price retested, made higher highs continuations. And obviously, price is about to what? You know, push from here to the upside and probably take out this high from here. So we can say that we have an exhaustion on um altcoins already. See? See what I'm saying? The price has done this already. Now, here is going to be acting as a breakout block for those who actually in my session. Here will be acting as a breakout block, not an order block. So here is obviously a breakout block. Price has retested. It has formed a fractal. It has formed a fractal. Price has formed the fractal. Somewhere around here. So most likely this trend is going to continue and take out this weak high. Here's a weak high because 
this low that caused the break of structure is now a strong low. So price is not coming back here again. It's going back up to take out this guy, this week, this week high here, and then continue the uptrend. Now, it would look very clearly, even with our Fibonacci tools, and also see that here, to this point, to exactly 50%. Very accurate. Exactly 50%. Price retraced down to 50%. Can you see it? Using our Fibonacci. So um, this is what the market is saying. And invariably, if BTC dominance is pumping up and BTC is actually going down, that means altcoins are going to dump. It's very simple. Why? Because money is flowing out of Bitcoin faster than it is flowing in towards stable coins. All right, so invariably it means that if money, if investors are pulling out their money from, from, from BTC, all right, it means those diversified profits they've already made from the BTC um, bullish run is gonna be taken out completely. It's gonna be taken out very quickly because the cycle is that when people buy BTC and they make profit, they diversify their profit into Ethereum and other altcoins. So if they are removing their money from BTC, it means they're also pulling out all the extra profits from altcoins and they'll be doing that very quickly. So that is why we always have a big dump of altcoins, all right? When BTC dominance is pumping and BTC itself is falling, all right? That's just a simple analogy that I can give to you. So, um, we already have our bias. We have this as a long. We have this as a long. You can go on bit. You can go on uh, Binance and take a long position on BTC dom. That is, if you actually want to. All right. So we're done with BTC dinner. Um. Let's see if we can make an analysis. Can make an analysis. And then um, we can do something right now. Let's see. What is the closest? Let's go to coin market cap. Yeah, let's go to coin market cap. Let's go to coin market cap right now. Let's go to coin market cap. I hope you guys are enjoying this video because I'm taking my time to explain, you know, all of these things to you. Let's go to coin market cap and see. Um, you can see coins that are trending. You can see them, they are trending. But mind you, some coins will still be doing very well. It doesn't really necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean that all coins would, um, would just continue to dip down. See, uh, there's something I'm looking for right here. Let me see the top gainers and losers first of all. Okay, you can see Ape. <laughs> exactly, you can see Ape. Ape is actually doing well. The last 24 hours it has been pumping. GNO, Clay, Cake, BNB. Now, do you know why these coins are actually pumping? Do you know why some of these coins are pumping? Right, it's because just at the last phase of the market cycle, before the market eventually bleeds or before liquidity comes into the market, there's what we call low cap coins, low what cap coins. Now these low caps, okay, they are like they are like the extra profits for investors. They want to just quickly invest in those, you know, coins that have very low caps, and then just take out whatever they can take from the market, and there you have it. So I want to analyze Ape. Let's analyze Ape together, and then we'll go to, you know, some mid caps and all of that. Let's see. If... Let's see what Ape is doing currently. This was past analysis. So I'm gonna just simply um 
we had a rally base rally here. Can you see these guys? We had a rally base rally. We had a rally base rally. Had it right here. Let me show you what I'm saying. Had a rally base rally. Rally. Base. Rally again. So, sorry, drop this drop. I mean, not rally this rally. Why did drop this drop? And you can verily, verily see that this was a continuation pattern. So, in essence, what is price trying to do right now? Price is trying to come back here retest maybe an other block right here, somewhere around here, and then fall down again. Now, do you see at the later stage, price began to pump? Pumped from here, it's going back again to maybe just retest, you know, this fair value gap here or something like that. But basically that is what price is most likely going to do. So now let me check out on, you know, some mid caps. Like uh, let's say Solana. Solana, let me just take this out and run the analysis from scratch. All right, let me just run this thing from scratch. Because a lot of persons have seen MJ have to do an analysis on Solana. I said, okay, no problem. Let's see what Solana is most likely going to do right now. Um so we're actually here at the moment and just draw all the key levels. We have a key level somewhere around here. Yeah, we have a key level somewhere around here, somewhere around 50K, around 49, 50K. We also had another one right here acted as a very, very, very traditional and key level. Somewhere around here, right? Somewhere around there. And then, ultimately, we we'll have to move down to the daily time frame now to check what exactly is going on. Yeah, so, what's that? so what exactly is going on right now? This is it, this is it, this is it. So do you think price would come down to $50 to $49? Let's check what the four hour time frame is saying. I actually thought this was going to be a buy, but you know, I don't have the over self-confidence bias in me. So whenever the market changes, I just go with the flow. I don't need to stress myself. So I'm seeing some um signs that we could have, you know. This is looking more like, it's looking more like um, head and shoulders. So I want to wait for a change of character to occur somewhere around here. Did occur, retest. Let's see how we can check. Are waiting chalk. See, are waiting chalk. I want to see price break through this place. Come back again to retest this level. This trend line right here. And then I'm going to start looking for sell opportunities from 58K down to 49K. Right, so basically this is just um, a cycle of the market that I want each and every one of you to just basically understand. And, um, you know, just have uh, a glimpse of what the market is saying at every point in time. So what coins do you actually want me to analyze? You can just go ahead, write it down in the comment section. And don't forget, there's actually room for mentorship currently ongoing. The link is in the description of this video. I'm also going to pin it right there in the comment section. 
so that um, for those of you who want to skill your game up, want to actually know how to trade very, very well, you want to improve your psychology as well. There are certain things that you should be um, looking after or looking, um, looking for, right? So basically, that should be the end of this video. One love, peace out to you. I love you so much. It's been a long time I did videos. I've been really busy offline with my businesses and all of that. But um, subsequently, I'm going to be dropping more videos for you guys. And I really do hope that this actually gives you an opportunity to, you know, become more profitable in the market as you proceed on a daily basis, right? So one love, peace out. I'm signing out right now.